Hey there, Louis Yacobalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a discussion board to a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now what exactly is a discussion board in SharePoint Online? Well, essentially what a discussion board is, is it is a fancy SharePoint list that allows you and your colleagues to facilitate threaded style conversations uh, that can be accessed by anybody that has access to your SharePoint Online site. So you can see here on the screen, I've already gone ahead and created a sample discussion board. Um, and essentially you can see here, I have the option to create a new discussion. And if I click on this, it is just going to allow me to um, insert a subject of the discussion. It might be a question or a topic that you want to converse about. Then you can put in details into the body uh, and you can select whether or not you are actually seeking responses to this if it's a question from other members who have access to this SharePoint site. Now I'll just show you what an example uh, discussion looks like. So you can see here, where can I access training resources on SharePoint Online? So somebody actually posed that as a question and if I click into it, um, you can see again that I created this question and my colleague Diego actually came in and put in a response. So discussion boards are very useful for stimulating conversations about different topics or even for uh, creating a repository of frequently asked questions. All right, now to add a discussion board to a SharePoint online site, you want to navigate to the site that you'd like to add the board to, and then you want to go ahead and click on site contents. Now site contents is where you can come to view all of the different elements that exist on your SharePoint site and uh, where you can actually add new elements such as apps, pages, libraries, lists, etc. Now from the site contents page, what you want to do is click on the new dropdown and then you want to go ahead and click on app. All right, and this essentially displays a list of the out of the box apps that are available for use in SharePoint Online. And you want to scroll down and click on discussion board. And then you want to go ahead and give your discussion board a name. So typically you want to create a unique board per topic um, that you are going to be facilitating uh, discussions around. So in this case, I'm just going to call this uh, human resources and this discussion board will be used to have conversations about all things pertaining to human resources in my organization. Next, you want to click on create. And there you go, you can see that my human resources discussion board has been created. Now you'll notice that in terms of the type, it says the list. So discussion boards are essentially fancy SharePoint online lists that allow you to view the items, the records in that list in a threaded conversation type view. Now this is what the discussion board looks like uh, right after you create it. So there obviously are no discussions here. Um, and the first thing that I'll draw your attention to is when you're in a discussion board, you'll notice that the ribbon displays items. So clicking on this will bring up the item menu. And so I can go ahead and create new items from here, uh, or I can view existing items or edit existing items if I had any, or even look at things like version history. The next tab is the list tab. And again, this is where you can come to access the discussion board settings. If you wanted to get into permissions, you can also see the permissions from the shared with button. Uh, if you wanted to export the items in this discussion board list, you could also export to Excel, for example. Now to go ahead and actually create a new discussion, what you want to do is click on the new discussion button. And this is going to bring up the item card. And so the first thing that you want to do is put in your subject. Now, if you're using a discussion board, for example, um, as a repository for frequently asked questions, then perhaps the subject would be your question. And so in this example, I will just uh, put in a HR related question. How many weeks of 
vacation do new employees receive? And I'll just copy the same question into the body. Now clicking into this, you'll notice that um, the ribbon displays here so you can actually format the text, make it bold, italicize, um, and this supports rich text. So if you wanted to, for example, even put in pictures in a discussion uh, topic or an item in a discussion board, you could do that as well. Now I'll just leave the body as is. And the next option here is uh, question and there's a check mark. So clicking this essentially is going to allow um, individuals to respond and then of all of the responses received, the creator of this question or this item will actually be able to go in and mark a response as the best reply, which is going to highlight that response. Again, very useful if you're looking to create a repository for frequently asked questions. Now I'll just go ahead and check this and I'll click save. And there you go, you can see that my question has been um, posted here on the discussion board. How many weeks of vacation do new employees receive? And if I click into this, what you're going to see is that individuals, including myself, can come in and post a reply to this question. So nobody has replied yet, so I'll just say any update on this. And I'll go ahead and click reply. And you can see again that the responses will be threaded here. And that is really one of the benefits of these discussion boards. Now, a few notes on permissions. You'll see here I have the option to edit this question. That is because I am the creator. So an individual won't be able to edit other people's questions. They'll only be able to post replies and we'll see that in a minute. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and edit this, I could click on the edit button. And again, that's going to bring me back into the discussion board item. And if I wanted to amend this, I could. Now I'll just click cancel in this case. Now the other thing to note is if you click on the three dots, the menu, uh, you have a few options. So I could first delete this. Okay, so let's say this question is no longer relevant or topic, I could go ahead, delete it. I can create an alert. So clicking alert me is going to allow me to actually set up an alert, so if perhaps I want to uh, be notified every time there's a response, I could go ahead and fill this out. Uh, or if there was a change made, again, I could set up an alert. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click cancel. I'm not gonna be showing you how to create alerts today. Now the other thing that you can do with questions or discussion board posts, if you click on the open menu, uh, you can actually mark a particular item or a question as featured. So if I click on mark as featured, that is going to feature this question. Now, if I go back into the discussion board, in this case, just by clicking on human resources in this breadcrumb trail, uh, what you are going to notice, if I click on the three dots here, there is an option for featured. And if I click into this, I can see how many weeks of vacation do new employees receive. So featuring a question essentially allows you to put it in the featured view. Uh, and so these might be questions that are commonly asked and that you want to make um, explicitly visible or accessible to individuals in your organization. Now to remove a feature, you just want to go ahead and click on the question or the item. And then again, you wanna click on the three dots and you'll see here the option to unmark as featured. Now, the next thing that I'll show you is what you can do when somebody actually posts a response to an item in a discussion board. Now I've gone ahead and I've impersonated a colleague and I've actually posted a response to this question that says, when do employee benefits start? And you'll see here latest reply by my colleague Diego two minutes ago. So I will click into this and you can see here that this is uh, the response that was provided. Okay, um, and what you'll notice is that I can actually edit this response. Now the reason I can edit this response is because I am the creator of this question. So creators are sort of like moderators. Um, you know, they have the ability to, uh, again, reply or edit, or if I wanted to actually delete it, I could. Now what you'll notice is when you check the three dots on a response, you have this option to set a response as the best reply. Now if I go ahead and click this, 
What that's going to do is that is actually going to nest the response immediately under the question or the original um, item post in the discussion board. This way, when individuals come in, uh, they can easily see the most appropriate response. So again, very useful for managing things like frequently asked questions. All right, now the last thing that I'm going to show you is what it looks like when another user visits a question that you created. So you can see here, I am impersonating my colleague Diego, and what I am going to do is I am going to click into one of the questions that I created using my own account, okay? And I will go ahead and click, how many weeks of vacations do new employees receive? And what you're going to notice is you can see here the question, you can see here I, um, as myself, posted a subsequent response. Um, and you'll notice that when I'm impersonating another user or if another user was visiting this, the only options they have are to post uh, replies to these items or questions, okay? So you'll see there's no option to mark as featured, to edit or delete. Okay, so again, only the creator of an item or a question will be able to edit it, delete it, uh, mark an answer as the best reply, for example. Now I'll just go ahead and demonstrate how to reply. New employees receive three weeks of vacation and I am going to go ahead and click reply and you can see the reply that was posted here. Now again, um, when you are replying to questions, you have the option to edit them and you have the option to delete them as well, okay? All right, now that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to add a discussion board to a SharePoint online site. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials. I'm Louis Yacoubalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.